Hello, welcome to my review on the APS Allpon Solutions 374 litre bullet tank, also known as the Boyu ZDT 1256. Now, this tank retails with Allpon Solutions for £399.98. Now, for that money, you get the tank itself, the stand. The heater which you see in the tank, lighting which is provided by two T8 25 watt bulbs along with a PL tube and also they provide a filtration via a drip tray system which is to be mounted in the hood. Now with the bullet tank when you're putting the stand together you can either have the bullet shape point to the left or to the right and obviously you can use it as a wall divider but as here you can just see we've used it in a normal position against a wall now let's take you first of all into the hood and you'll notice that there is no drip tray system in use now I elected when I got the tank not to even set this up. Personally I just think the drip tray system is probably going to be high maintenance and probably not provide the results I want. Um, I'm an external filter man and as you can see here we've got two set up. Also there's two holes on this tank all at the flat end or flat side I should say and there is just enough to set up one big external one small external as you can see here it's a bit shoved in now in regards to filtration put this hood down now I have shine the light on it a Tetra Tech EX600 and then the big boy, the JBL Crystal Profi E1501. So all in all, this tank is getting about 2,000 litres per hour filtration turnaround, which leaves the water in very crystal clear condition, which I'm very happy about. Now, I also use a Heidel inline heater along with the heater in the tank. This is more personal preference as I prefer two methods of heating in case one decides not to work or malfunction. Now, going back to the hood, as you can see here, there is an air inlet and an air outlet. And behind these are two fans and the standard fans in the hood were just not good enough after only a couple of months they got noisy and weren't performing very well they just weren't efficient so with the help of my brother uh, we took it apart replaced the, the two fans with some high performance quiet PC fans and we used a Scythe Mini Kazi 15 millimeter fans and it's silent and it's just a lot cooler and works a lot more efficiently um, so glad we've done that modification on it now in going back to filtration again the stand has two doors and a main back piece which is solid there is no holes as standard in the stand so when we put the stand together we cut out two holes one in that side and one in that side which allowed us to put the pipes and electrical cables through so we could run filtration from within the stand obviously that might avoid any kind of warranty so I'll leave that up to your own discretion whether you want to do that or not you could always have it put next to the stand if you so wish 
we just want to hide the filtration so we made the holes for it as you can see I'll just quickly introduce the fish while I'm here we have I believe a female Jack Dempsey here a green terror here and also a parrotfish over here who's very flirty with the green terror even though he's not really in the mating mood we also have three giant danios in here along with a bristle nose pleco now my opinion of this tank I think for a couple of pence under 400 pounds for this size with the stand and everything thrown in it is a good tank with the uh, aquarium hobby people like to put their own stamp on things you'll want to put your own filters or your own heaters into the tank so for 400 pounds for such a big tank I think it's a bit of a bargain and uh, I'm definitely glad I've got it I know it's had a few things like the fans and but I'm, I'm definitely happy with the purchase